my friends, this is Robin, Green Smoothie Girl, and this is Take Two with Dr. Thomas Lodi in, in Mesa, Arizona, who runs Oasis of Healing. And what I've asked him to talk to us about today is what are the things that you're doing? One of your patients said to me yesterday on camera that she, and she's very educated and she did not choose any chemo or radiation. She said, I researched everybody and I can name them all, but I won't. But you have the most services under one roof of anybody. And I agree with that I also, you know, because I've been doing the research myself as well. And it's also very unusual that an MD is running it. So um, tell us about why you choose all the modalities you do, because there's a lot of stuff out there. You're choosing things that are non-toxic that you feel are effective, and you've observed that in practice, mm -hmm. and you've studied the literature. What do you do here at Oasis of Healing, and why? Okay. Basically, the approach with cancer is threefold. And there's actually a fourth component that the, that the person has to bring. And that component that they have to bring is called faith, or really they have to know they're going to get better. If they know they're going to get better, and we do all this stuff, they get better. If they have any fear or any uh, feeling of hopelessness and all that, then it's our job to help them change that and realize there's hope. And we do that by just teaching them and educating them. Because once they understand what cancer is and uh, how it works, they'll realize that it's not a mystery, it's not a big deal, and we can, we can change the body's um, process of what we call cancer. So our approach basically is we teach the person to stop making cancer. We do that by helping them change their biochemistry and we do that with diet and lifestyle and cleansing and all those sorts of things. And we have lots of modalities that deal with that. Um, number two, we target the cancer and try to eliminate it without harm or at least minimizing that harm. And then number three, we enhance, stimulate and rebalance the immune system because there is a cure for cancer. It's called a healthy immune system. The modalities that we use to target it are really basically three. Uh, number one is the insulin potentiated low dose chemo. And this is the one that has toxicity, but that toxicity is 5% of normal. So you don't see hair loss, you don't see all the terrible things that happen with chemo, but you're still getting it where you want to get it. We reserve that for people that are in dire straits and we try not to use it and we try to get off it as soon as possible. But basically insulin opens the door and lets the chemo get in through a doorway that that cell cannot close because it needs to have that insulin pathway for in order to survive. So it's, it's a beautiful targeting mechanism. Um, number two, we use high doses of ascorbates, which are vitamin C. And what they do is what, is what they always do. They're called antioxidants. They donate electrons. Those electrons um, uh, wind up taking free radicals and neutralizing them. And that's the one thing they do. But when they run into copper or iron, they produce hydrogen peroxide. Cancer cells being anaerobic cannot convert that hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen and they're killed. The healthy cells turn it into water and oxygen which is good for them. So it's really the perfect agent, perfect chemotherapeutic agent because it's good for the good guys and bad for the bad guys. Um, secondly, we, uh, thirdly, we do sodium selenide. Sodium selenide is only used by me and one other physician in, in this country. Um, a lot of research, five years of research has come out of Sweden and basically it does the s pretty much the same thing that uh, vitamin C does, but at a different level in the pathway, it produces in cells the superoxide anion. The superoxide anion, which is one of the most potent cell, cell it rips up cells really nicely. Um, but so when it gets into the cancer cell, it'll produce that, and the cancer cell again doesn't have the enzyme to convert it, which is called superoxide dismutase. So it just annihilates it. It gets into a healthy cell, turns it into turns it into hydrogen peroxide, then turns it into water and oxygen. So again, good for the good guys, bad for the bad guys. So with those three modalities together, what happens is we're able to eliminate even large tumors and, or, or small disseminated tumors, tumors no matter where they are. Because uh, wherever a tumor is, it needs a blood supply. And if we can get this in the blood, we're going to take care of it. And then um, um, finally, when we, do, when we deal with stimulating the immune system, rebalancing and all that, number one, we take away all the uh, maintenance requirements of the immune system we, by cleaning the body, detoxifying it, and all that sort of thing. So now the immune system has more resources for defense. Then we can stimulate that defense with oxidative therapies such as ozone, hydrogen peroxide, um, ultraviolet light, um, medicinal mushrooms like the maitake, shiitake, coriolis, agaricus, chaga. Um, and then of course eating right, which is part of number one, that is uh, changing the biochemistry, also feeds the immune system. Because when you sit down and eat, you have two choices. You can feed the cancer or you can feed the immune system. So if you knew better, you'd probably feed the immune system. Since we are primates and um, we, um, 
you know, our closest relatives are bonobos and gorillas and all that, and we watch what they eat. They eat 30 to 50 pounds of greens a day, so they're pretty much vegans. Um, they don't process it, um, they don't cook it, there's no microwaves in the jungle, and so they eat the food directly from nature, because nature actually made tomatoes, not tomato sauce, you know, and it, uh, it produced that so that it can be uh, digested and assimilated and turned in and, and provide all the healthy raw materials necessary to make new healthy cells. And if you consider the fact that we, just a, a normal person is probably replacing 50 million cells an hour, that's a lot of work. So what are you replacing it with? You got to replace it with the appropriate raw materials for it to do that. So eating right means eating um, unprocessed plants and everything from the seeds, the roots, the fruits, the leaves, stems, you eat all that. Um, and what happens is you achieve a state of health that does not allow cancer to occur, arthritis to occur, hypertension to occur. Because um, those conditions that we call diseases are really the body trying to protect us from toxicity. Uh, we were not designed to eat anything other than plants. We can get away with it, just like we can get away with smoking and we can get away with shooting heroin. But are we going to achieve optimal functioning? No way. And when you have cancer, there's no fooling around. It's time. It's, it's, it's showtime. And what's really interesting to me here at Oasis of Healing that's different than any place else I've ever been is that everybody here is doing the deal, mm -hmm. including you. I've been, you know, kind of observing what y'all eat here, and Dr. Lodi is a, exclusively a plant eater, and he eats raw food all day long. So, yeah. um, pretty interesting place to be. Thank you so much for letting me be here. Thank you. And um, we'll hear more from Dr. Lodi later. See you next time.